What's up everybody, welcome back to another Bible study Still here in the book of Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 6 And the word of Yahuwah came to me saying Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel And prophesy against them So the mountains of Israel See most people believe the mountains of Israel is just the mountains of Israel but if we go into scripture we realize mountains represent kingdoms and we read in Revelation 21 verse 10 and he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God mountain is a kingdom that's the kingdom of God we read in 1st Kings twenty two seventeen. so he said I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains and this is another thing another scripture that I didn't really realize until really thinking about this I mean because I've heard this a million times I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains and I just pictured scattered on the mountains but Mountains represent kingdoms. So this is, represents the dispersion. Israel being scattered into all the nations. So he said, I saw all Israel scattered on the mountains. On the, the kingdoms. Like sheep with, which have no shepherd. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, the word of Yahuwah came to me saying, Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel. So the mountains of Israel, that's it. That's the kingdoms of Israel. And the kingdoms of Israel. Check out my Revelation 18, or Revelation 17 and 18 video. For more, more regarding this, but the mountains of Israel. That's not only modern day Israel, because modern day Israel represents Judah. The tribe of Judah and also the tribe of Benjamin which is mixed into Judah the house of Judah but the house of Israel is Christians and America the house of Judah is Jews and modern-day Israel the house of Israel is Christians and modern-day America so the mountains of Israel that's the kingdoms of Israel is going to be America and Israel. And the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, set your face against, set your face toward the mountains of Israel, America and Israel, modern day Israel, and prophesy against them and say, Mountains of Israel, listen to the word of the Lord, the word of the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains, to the hills, to the ravines and the valleys. Behold, I myself am going to bring a sword on you. And I will destroy your high places. That's the churches, basically. So your altars will become desolate. And your incense altars will be smashed. And I will make your slain fall in front of your idols. I will also lay the dead bodies of the sons of Israel in front of their idols. And I will scatter your bones around your altars and churches. In all your dwellings, cities will become waste, and the high places will be desolate, that your altars may become waste and desolate. Your idols may be broken and brought to an end. Your incense altars may be cut down. And your works may be blotted out. The slain will fall among you, and you will know that I am Yahuwah. You will know that I am the Lord. And we also read about the judgment on America and Israel in Micah chapter 1. The word of the Lord which came to Micah of Moresheth in the days of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, 
which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. Samaria, that's D.C. representing the United States, and Jerusalem representing modern-day Israel. Hear, O peoples, all of you. Listen, O earth, and all it contains. And let, yet, let the Lord God be a witness against you, the Lord from his holy temple. For behold, Yahuwah is coming forth from his place. He will come down and tread on the high places of the earth. The mountains will melt under him. The valleys will be split like wax before the fire, like water poured down a steep place. All this is for the rebellion of Jacob and the sins of the house of Israel. What is the rebellion of Jacob? Is it not Samaria? What is the high place of Judah? Is it not Jerusalem? For I will make Samaria a heap of ruins in the open, open country, planting places for a vineyard. I will pour her stones down into the valley, and I will lay bare her foundations. All her idols will be smashed. All her earnings will be burned with fire. And all her images I will make desolate. And speaking about America, it's coming. And the mountains of Israel is uh, the kingdoms of Israel, which is, which includes, by land, the United States of America and modern-day Israel. And that's why, that's why all these other nations want to destroy America and Israel, because American Israel is so tied. And we see that in Scripture. I will also lay the dead bodies of the sons of Israel in front of their idols. And I will scatter your bones around your altars. And all your dwellings, cities will become waste and the high places will be desolate. That your altars may become waste and desolate. And this is happening right now. The altars being desolate. The altars representing the churches being desolate. Because nobody's there. People aren't gathering in person. And there's another scripture referencing that as well. That your altars may become waste and desolate. Your idols idols may be broken and brought to an end. Your incense altars may be cut down and your works may be blotted out. The slain will fall among you and you will know that I am Yahuwah. However, I will leave a remnant for you. Or for you will not have... And for you will have those who escape the sword among the nations where I scattered you among the nation, among the countries. Then those of you who escape will remember me among the nations to which they were carried, carried captive. How I have been hurt by the by their adulterous hearts which turned away from me, and their eyes which played the harlot after their idols. Let me just repeat this because. People don't pay attention to this. And people don't realize that we're affecting God. We're affecting God through the things we do. It says, How I have been hurt by their adulterous hearts which turned away from which turned away from me. God was hurt. And by their eyes which played the harlot after their idols. See, God sees everything. And whenever we do something against Him, He sees it and it hurts Him. Because He loves us. And they will loathe, loathe themselves in their own sight for the evils they have committed. For all their abominations. Then they will know that I am Yahuwah. And I have not said in vain that I would inflict this disaster upon them. Thus says the Lord God. Clap your hand, stamp your foot, and say, Alas, because of all the uh, evil abominations of the house of Israel, which is Christians, which will fall by the sword, famine, and plague. That's a tribulation time. He who is far off will die by the plague, and he who is near will fall by the sword, and he who remains and is besieged will die by the famine and this is speaking of in Israel thus I will spend my wrath on them 
then you will know that I am Yahuwah. When they're slain among when they're slain or among their idols around their altars, on every high hill and on the tops of the mountains, under every green tree and under every leafy oak, the places where they offer soothing aroma to all their idols. So throughout their habitations I will stretch out my hand against them, and make the land more desolate and waste than the wilder than the wilderness toward Dibla. Thus they will know that I am Yahuwah. And Dibla, if you look up Dibla, means fig cake. The name, the name meaning of Dibla is fig cake. And it means circle. Circle and fig cake. So it says, uh, I will stretch out my hand against them and make sure it, and make the land more desolate and waste in the wilderness toward Dibla. Thus they will know that I am Yahuwah, that I am the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the end of Ezekiel 6. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, call out to Him for the forgiveness of your sins. We're living in the last days. Ain't no more time to waste. Quit playing around. God is coming. Jesus is coming on the clouds like He said He would. And He's coming with judgment. And many people don't realize that. The Bible says every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So no matter what you think, no matter what you do, one day you will bow your knee and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Master. The question is, will you do it now and accept the free gift of God or will you do it when it's too late to even accept His free gift when you're just denied by God because you rebelled against Him? Ask that question. Turn to Jesus. We're living in the last days. And judgment is coming. We've been getting minor... I would, I would say minor warning signs compared to what's really, ha really going to go on. What's really going to happen. People have no idea what's really about to happen. It's horrible. People can't imagine what's really about to happen. So turn to Jesus Christ. Live for Him. We're out of time. And that's the end of Ezekiel 6. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Shalom.